growing concerns over what this could mean for an insurance market that is already in crisis. Right, on your side's Christine Lazar joining us live with what this could do to rates and the market as a whole, which was already so stressful oh, for homeowners. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we had a lighter year last year when it came to really destructive fires. Right. And as I was watching this all play out last night, I thought to myself, Oh no, I what know. is this going yeah. to mean to our market? You know, especially as people start to get their renewals. Mm -hmm. We're going to see the prices go up mm. and we're going to have people who are dropped even more than we're already seeing. So over the past two years, we've watched major insurers pull out of California, citing our wildfire risk. Others have raised rates for homeowners, sometimes 40 or 50 percent. Joining me now is Carl Sussman, a licensed insurance agent and an expert on market conditions. Carl, I think what people want to know is what will be the immediate fallout in the insurance market to these fires. Well, this is, as you said, exactly what everyone's been concerned about, right? These are the fires that we've been we've been worrying they're going to be coming. We've had over 900,000 acres burn in California so far this year, and 1,200 acre and 1,200 structures that have been lost. So I think right now what we should expect is the Department of Insurance to do what it always does is to protect consumers. Governor Newsom already declared a state of emergency for the line fire, and as soon as the perimeter is established there, then I would expect the Department of Insurance to do what they always do and put the lock in place so that insurance carriers don't have the ability to non-renew people that are in these affected areas. And going forward from there, we're going to have to see how that plays out for the rest of the market. Okay, so now what about down the road? Will homeowners who see their policies renew, say in six months or a year, see the impact of these destructive fires going right now? Not this quickly. Anytime there's a change that has to be made to rates or to underwriting for an insurance policy, it has to go through a pretty substantial process with the Department of Insurance. So the likelihood of us seeing any direct impact right now or in the next few months for what we're seeing today is pretty low. Hopefully, by the time we start to see changes, the new regulations that the Department of Insurance is putting into place that should, that should bring competition back to California will be in place. So hopefully we won't see something as dramatic as we would normally see. And that is good news. I mean, here in California, we have a very pro-consumer Department of Insurance, so we are protected there. But what can we as homeowners do to protect our homes, likely our biggest investment, and make sure that we can afford coverage when we are up for renewal and make sure that we can find coverage, especially if we're in those hillside areas, those areas that are more prone to fires? Well, the most important thing to do is, is protect your home, of course. Do what you can to make your home as, as fire safe as possible. But don't be the hero. Don't be the one on the roof with the hose. If there's an evacuation order, please get out. No property is worth your safety. And as far as what to do for them in the meantime, always do what you can to shop around. There's not a lot of options right now, but hopefully again by the first quarter of next year, we'll see the insurance industry start to open up again, and there will actually be options for consumers to go to to shop around and try and find competitive bids for coverage. Thank you, Carl. We really appreciate it. And obviously hearing this makes us all feel a little bit better. We are at least protected by our Department of Insurance. Thanks again for joining us. Thank you.